Oh, there it is again. Every day. Getting in my eyes. Another new day is here. Are you excited? Got her all warmed up. Oh, you need a bath inside and out. Yikes. It's a little too cold yet to bring my pressure washer to work, so I'm waiting for it to warm up just a little bit, and then we'll uh, have her here every day. But anyways, we have a uh, assignment to do. We gotta grab a, grab a trailer, go pick up a load in Toulon, just like we did yesterday. So we, uh, we better get to it. Oh, this is the perfect time of year. I like it to be, I like it to be cool at night so I can sleep better, but it warms up during the day and then it gets cool again at night. A little too cool yet, so maybe in the next couple of weeks it'll get better. Next week's supposed to be a little bit warmer, we'll see what happens, but I like this time of year. There's no bugs yet, everything's starting to turn green. There's so much like excitement for the summer to come, sort of, even though we can't really do much this, this summer, but uh, we're gonna make most of it. We're gonna get some progress done on our land, we're gonna get it all cleared out, and hopefully get it ready for, uh, ready for next year, I guess? I don't know what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a good time though. Some of you ask if I'm trying to talk myself into it. I say every day it's gonna be a good day. You ask, are you trying to talk yourself into it? Yes, I am. Yeah, because good days don't always just happen naturally on their own. You sorta of gotta get the ball rolling a little bit and convince yourself in here that it's gonna be a good day. That That's the hardest part. You, you gotta say it out loud and the more you say it out loud, the more you believe it in here. All right, if you believe it's gonna be a good day, it'll turn into a good day. Not 100% of the time. I have my bad days, I, I really do. I got bad days. But I don't acknowledge them. That's the key. You don't acknowledge the bad parts of your day. You just get them over with, do what you gotta do, and move on to the next thing, and hopefully that'll be a good thing. Right, you just focus on the good stuff. It's a conscious effort say it out loud, you speak it into existence, and then you train yourself to believe it in your head, and you'll start seeing the good in the day, and just ignoring the bad, even if the bad is sometimes overwhelming. Maybe it'll consume you for a while, but eventually you learn to see the next thing coming along that may be better. It's going to be a good day, all right? I don't care what anyone says, I'm going to make it a good day. Just uh, getting my computer all up to date here and ready to go. It's Friday, so of course it's already a good day. I don't know why I'm yelling, but I'm excited. Uh, let's get to work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to figure out which trailer I need to grab. He told me yesterday. I like it when they text me uh, the day before so that I don't have to ask them and like bug them in the morning what I need to do. Okay, I need to take trailer, this one. I'm picking up a load that's going to Twinsburg, Ohio. Cool. All right, let's go find our trailer. Let's hook up and let's give her. Let's give her. Let's get out of here. Oh, the sun is shining. I'm gonna ride my motorcycle this weekend. I'm gonna go clear some of our land this weekend. My wife has uh, Saturday off of work, so we're gonna go on a date. Or if we don't go on a date, we're gonna make a, like a special meal at home and just enjoy the weekend and each other's presence. And sit out on the deck and have coffee. It's gonna be good. Speaking of coffee, as soon as we hook up to our trailer, we're gonna have to swing past the driver's room because it went right through me. Where are we here? Is this my trailer? That is not my trailer. We're looking for a roll tank. Is this my trailer? That is not my trailer. because they're usually here. I just have to circle the lot like five times before I see it. Let's see what's
what's in here. Make sure it's ready to be loaded. Excuse me, excuse me. There you go. Oh. There's already some in here. Oh, okay. So I guess we're loading up on the back. This isn't even tied down. Okay, so uh, I've got to tie this down first. Good thing I've checked, right? You always check your trailer. The trailer is in the loaded lineup. So that was my first clue that there might be something in it already. I'm just gonna confirm that that's supposed to be in there. That'll have enough room for whatever I'm picking up. Then I've got to open this whole cover, tie that stuff down, and then head up to Toulon. So got some stuff to do. Got to go grab a different trailer, and we'll have to move this freight onto uh, that trailer because it's all supposed to go together. Quickly show you here. Uh oh, big tear in the roof. Can't send it out like that. So this trailer is out of service. I also see a little hole in the side there. Some one was pretty rough on this, and some of the bars are collapsing up there. So. The yard guys are gonna take care of moving this freight onto a different trailer. I've gotta go grab another trailer and go get this other freight. Does that make sense? And hopefully that trailer isn't full of holes. Oh, we're gonna continue with our daily routine here and say hi to Wilbert and Sally and all their friends and cousins. Where are they? That's two days in a row now that I haven't seen them. I saw one of his cousins got run over the other day. I was very sad. Maybe that sort of scared them away. Oh no, here they are. There they are. Hi guys. How's it going? Keep your kids off the road. Nice guys. Nice guys. They mean well. couple of weeks they're little uh goslins they're little baby goose baby gooses baby geese baby goslins whatever you want to, whatever they're called their little ones are going to be uh adventuring out i've explained this before i'm waiting to see them i hope none of them get run over but you know some people just don't care they just they almost target them it, it's sad i saw a two of Wilbert's uh, friends over there run over earlier this week. I didn't actually see it happen, but I saw them in the ditch there. Very sad. I hope they gave him a proper burial and funeral. So as you guys have seen, we've been pretty busy again. We had that week where it was a little bit slow, uh, but things picked up, just like I said they would. They always do. And today it seems like no exception. Yeah, it's one of our guys. Uh, it's it's uh, gonna be a busy day. I've already been told to hurry up, put her in gear and go because I got some other pickups to do this afternoon. So, no messing around today. It's been a good couple of weeks. It's been a really good pay period. Lots of work to do. Have any of you guys thought about coming to work here, coming to drive for us? Always looking for highway drivers. We uh, looking for a few company drivers. Always looking for owner operators, obviously. Deck division, van division. Let me know. I can point you in the right direction. He's coming with my freight. I'm gonna put it on the front of this trailer. We're gonna take it back to the yard. We're gonna put that other freight from that other trailer this morning that had the tear in the roof. I'm gonna put it on here as well. And then this trailer is off to North Carolina. I'm only supposed to be picking up about 20 feet here. Look, looks like that's what he's got there. And there he comes. Looks like it's just two identical pieces. So if that's 20 feet, the other freight I think was 23 feet. All together 43 feet of space and we have a 53 foot trailer here. There he is. Way up there. There it is. And this is going to Ohio. 
the other stuff. I think I explained that already. He's going to North Carolina. So everything is over the wood posts here. All the straps are over the wood to uh, save the freight. Anything that does have to touch the freight's got a nice little rubber protector. Always use a rubber. Always use protection. That way you don't uh, have any unwanted consequences of your actions. And it also uh, doesn't damage the freight. Because these straps going down the highway could rub the paint off. You want to protect that. So whenever you can, I go over the wood, over the top there. And uh, here, once again, got a rubber in there for protection. This here at the back. All strapped down nice and tight. We're going to go back and get the rest of it put on there. And we'll send the highway driver away with it. into Winnipeg. Somebody needs it there. I found a switch and I don't know what it does. Have you guys seen this in trailers before? Check this out. There's a switch here. What's that for? I thought it would be for lights, you know, but there's no lights in here. Interesting. You guys know what that's for let me know down below uh how about you just make up something that that switch is for it's got to be realistic okay what do you think that switch is for just let me know all of your ideas you know what scrap the realistic part i want a good laugh out of this is friday make up your best story about what that switch would be for i don't care if it's realistic or not okay let me know down below try and make me laugh hello my friend we have need of you again. Come with me. I'm just gonna hook this, uh, hook this on here so that I don't worry about the trailer doors closing while I'm in there. There you go. Why is that not, why is that not working properly? Oh, I get it. That's supposed to go back there. I get it. I get it. All right, let's do it properly. There you go. You may have thought at a quick glance that the trailer was clean before, right? Well, just a quick sweep. Nothing too fancy. Just a quick sweep, and we got all of this gathered up that was left in here by uh, by by someone.
videos and stuff, so I couldn't edit anything up and I couldn't film anything. So uh, I came back to work today and it was all still here, but uh, we didn't get to finish off Friday's vlog. And I'm sort of whipping it together here for you because you should have been able to watch it a long time ago already, so I apologize that it's late. But uh, we had a good weekend. I, I took the bike out. I was going to make a moto vlog and everything. It was going to be so much fun, but it's hard to make a vlog when you got nothing to make a vlog with. <laughs> so thanks for watching today. Anyways, guys, this is kind of quickly thrown together. We'll have another video tomorrow. I'll talk to you later.